Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a Gmail signature using Microsoft Word's formatting features with Gmail. This is just an example and it's showing you the images and the icons as well, but the images and icons are actually inserted in Gmail. So what you would do is insert a table in Word and for this example we're using three columns. Um, resize to what you think you might need and because I've done this before I've got a general idea of how wide these columns should be. Once you've inserted your three columns you would then type in your signature, what you want included in your signature and format it how you want as well. So I'm just going to copy the information from above to make it a bit quicker. and just tidy it up a bit. So I'm just going to right align that and just widen that column a little bit. Oops, and widen that column a little bit. So that's what you want, um, is three columns with the text formatted. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the borders off. So I'm going to select the table, go into design under tables, select borders, and select no border. Okay, so that's what you need to insert or paste into your Gmail signature. Uh, you would then copy each column, making sure there's no extra paragraph marks, that it's nice and tidy, and then return to Gmail. Now you need to insert the signature into the signature settings. And to do that, you click on the cogwheel on the top right hand side, choose settings and then scroll all the way to near the bottom. This is where the signature appears. I haven't got anything set up at the moment and I can paste that table in here now. So control and V. So now we've put the um, text in for the signature. We can start inserting images and social media icons. I've already got some set up in my Google Drive and if you click to the area you want to insert the image and click on insert image. You can upload from your computer at this point. I'm going to put an image, I could put a logo in, I'm going to put an image of me in. Because I'm a virtual assistant I like to keep it quite personal. I'm also going to click on that image and when I do I'll get an option to resize it further if I want. I don't need to do anything else with that image, I'm just going to insert the social media icons so again, to do that, click on where I want the icon to appear, click on insert image, and I'll start with Facebook, double click. To insert a hyperlink, you would highlight the image, and then you would click on to link, and then on to change, and you get taken to an area where you can then paste the URL for Facebook. I'm just gonna take out that backspace I already have my Facebook open in a tab, so I'm going to take that URL, Control and C to copy it, and go back to my Gmail and Control and V to paste it and press OK. So what I've done there is I've set up a hyperlink to my Facebook account. I'll just go through that again and we'll put a space in and then I'll insert an image and this time I'll insert the Twitter image which is already in my Google Drive and to include the hyperlink you would highlight the image, click on to link, click on to change. I'm just going to remove that backspace and again I've got my Twitter account already open. So I'll copy the URL go back to settings and paste it and click OK. And I'll just do one more for this example. So space in between each one, insert image, and this time I'll use LinkedIn. I'm gonna highlight the icon and I'm gonna click on to link and then change, take out the backspace. I'm gonna to navigate to my LinkedIn account, copy the URL, 
go to settings, control and V and OK. I'm going to leave it at that um, and we'll save it and test this out. To save these changes, if you move down to the bottom, you've got a button save changes and then you can test it. I'm going to send myself an email. Testing, oops, signature and send. And then let's have a look at it in the inbox. So now I've got a signature set up. It's got my image and my details. And here's where we set the hyperlinks up. So I've got Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. I'm just going to test the Twitter link. Works perfectly. And that's basically how you set up a Gmail signature. Thank you very much.